Hi guys, welcome to this tutorial on how to find and delete a straight line error. So first let me explain to you what is a straight line error. So in many surveys you'll always have your yes-no questions, your long answer, short answer questions, and for the main part of your research you may have a scale out of 1 to 5 or 1 to 10. So typically in this part of the surveys people, some people, will answer your questions in a straight line without caring to even read about it. So example four 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 next four 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 so there'll be a few respondents like this and that's why it's called a straight line because they just answer questions in a straight line four 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 there's zero variance in their answers so moving on assume that you've finished your survey research and you're keyed in all your data onto your SPSS software now in my case my data has been categorized as such where C, SC, PL, NT, AD have a bunch of scaled questions. So I want to look for all the straight line errors in these scaled questions because there's, there's definitely going to be some. All right, let's get straight to it. How do you find a straight line error? Go to transform, compute variable, and label it as variance then go to your function group select statistical go to your functions and other special variables select variance and between the brackets key in all your questions now you cannot simply click on them one by one like that you have to put a comma in between each so let's correct that and now one by one, like this, with the comma in between, key them in. Make sure not to put any double commas or double key in. Depending on your questionnaire, some people might have a lot of questions, some people might have a few. And all depends on which ones you want to key in and look for straight line error. Now as you approach the end, be careful not to leave an additional comma, which typically tends to happen. Delete that and move on. Now here, double check everything. Then if you're sure, click OK. Ignore this result. Go straight to your variable view and check that variance has been created. So it's there. Now go to your data view, go to the last column and it should be there as well. Now sort the variance in the ascending order. Ascending. Here you can see the questions which have zero variance. Hence they have straight line error where people have keyed in multiple answers of the same kind like 5 5 5 5 5 5 10 10 10 10 10 10. Now simply Delete these questions by clicking delete, highlighting the row and click delete. And there you have it. You've gotten rid of all your straight line answer questions. Thank you for watching.